Peep, peep, blows and alpacas. This is Livy, and welcome back to a top 10 video. And oh my god, it's been a little bit about a year since the last time I made a top 10 video. Ah, I cannot believe it's been that long since I made one. But as you guys know, I am currently head over heels obsessed with Cuphead. Like, it, the obsession basically started as soon as I played the game, which is in the beginning of this year, actually. And I wouldn't let go of it. I kept playing it and playing it and playing it and oh my god I want to make more content about Cuphead that's why we have Cup Talk and I've lived in X News when it comes to Cuphead and oh my god I like I am absolutely speechless and I'm really excited that I do have plans for Cuphead related top 10s I'm just so happy and this is just the first one which is my top 10 Cuphead characters which I know I have a lot of fans asking me who's my favorite boss who's my favorite character and it's like I kind of like put them in different categories, but I think this list would top them all. What ones I like, like some of them are just characters that I like, not necessarily a favorite, but characters that I like. And also just please note that these are just my opinions. These aren't really facts or set in stone. So some of you may agree with this list and some of you may not agree with this list. And all is all, it's totally fine. And also both me and Bob would like to thank you for the support on Cup Talk. We love making Cup Talk and we're all always looking forward to making them and we're really excited about how much views and likes it's been getting and how much you guys love it oh man the stuff that we have planned for the future of cup talk it, it's just insane it's absolutely insane but there's stuff that i want to do that's cuphead related that i don't want bob involved with no offense bob but um i kind of want to do on my own which in this case is my top 10 Cuphead characters. Now I better stop rambling and begin with the list. And at number 10, I have the Jimmy the Great. I know this is kind of a strange character to put on a top 10 list, or actually not strange, but maybe like knowing me, it's kind of strange. I absolutely love the genie from Aladdin. He's my favorite character of Aladdin. And also I was a really big fan of Robin Williams, rest in peace. But the Jimmy the Great kind of has that same feeling even though Aladdin was not a 1930s cartoon, it was in the 90s, but they still have that element of the mannerisms of the genie from Aladdin into the Jimmy the Great. And also, there had been cartoons from the 1930s and so on that there are magic genies that they found in a lamp, and they usually are comedic or they cause mischief. Which, kind of with the Jimmy the Great, is kind of both. And I don't know, I just like his style. You kind of tell that, yes, he is looking for trouble, but he wants to have fun with it, too. More fun than Beppy. Ugh, nightmare clown. No, I'm not very clown, by the way. I don't know, it's just there's something about him that I like. I even know his battle is an absolute pain. Drawing him was quite a challenge, too, as you saw in my comic on V.O. Adam's channel. I did a collab with E. E.B. Tempris, or Electric Boo Tempris, E.B.T. She draws him a whole lot, and she draws him really great. And it's just, his name's just really fun to say, even though I don't know if I'm saying it right, the Jimmy the Great. But I was mentioning it and kept talk, Jimmy the Greek, because there's a restaurant called Jimmy the Greek, and... I don't know. And I have to say, and does anybody agree that his shoes look like they would be really, really painful. And that's from a girl that wears heels to conventions. Actually, give us all a favor, do not wear heels at a convention. You'll regret it very greatly. And at number nine, we have Baroness Von Bonbon. Bon. Actually, I put her on the list because my mom actually likes her. I don't know, and I like her too. Like, I like the sweets idea, like all the candy and all that. Kind of reminds me of the one old Silly Symphony cartoon, but I don't remember what the name of it was. Is it like the Cookie Parade? or the Cookie Queen, or I don't remember what it was called. He'll probably correct me in the video. But it kind of, when I watched that, that's basically who I thought about was Baroness Bon Bon Bon. And even though she can be a little bit creepy and aggressive at times, I still like her style and her personality. And the castle, oh my god. Even though the castle is a little bit terrifying, it, it's still kind of cute. And like my mom kept on saying, look how pretty the castle is. It reminds me of Cinderella's castle. And I kept on thinking to myself, how? 
How does it look like Cinderella's castle? And again, her battle is an absolute nightmare to get perfect. I still have not got it perfect yet. Oh man, especially that one, the end part where she takes off her head and it follows you wherever and you have to run away from the castle as much as possible while dodging her spinning head. Oopsie. <laughs> her battle is something. And number eight is Grim Matchstick. Now, I know this is basically a love-hate relationship with this character. There's a lot of fans that love him and a lot of fans that hate him. I actually think he's kind of cute and I am into dragons, not as much as Tricky, but I love dragons as well. I really like his design and he's a little bit different than most other dragons I've seen made in old cartoons. He's a little bit more detailed into a dragon while the old cartoons, they kind of look extremely cartoony. <laughs> well, duh. But also, by my understanding is Grim Matchstick is actually inspired by an animator by the last name Grimm. I can't really remember it all at the moment because Bob knows the answer, and Bob, if you're watching this, explain that in the comment section, please. <laughs> but yeah, I kind of think he's kind of cute. And the free-headed Grimm at the end is kind of neat too, even though it's extremely nightmarish, but actually I'd rather face that part than the part with the little fire marching band. I heard he's an absolute nightmare to get an S rank on. Eh, wish me luck on that. And number seven, Calamaria. I know, it's kind of a strange spot to put on her. I don't know, I just kind of like her design and I think she's kind of cute. Not romantically, it kind of reminds me a lot of Marilyn Monroe, which is a celebrity that I look up to a lot. Kind of the sex symbol of Cuphead, I guess you could say. Because I remember the one guy I was talking to was playing on getting a Calamaria tattoo and I know this character is really popular with the guys, but girls like her too. Like, I like her, I think she's kind of cute. Like, like, I think her voice is cute and her style that she does not turn into a, um, the sea witch monster Ursula Medusa type thing. <laughs> I don't know how, how to explain it, but a lot of times it's fun to have fun ideas with her, especially with the Kala and Bugman ship. Oh my god, that ship is so adorable. It's so adorable. They're meant for each other. But yeah, it kind of gave me the idea of, since she is like the most ladylike character, that what if she does something that you wouldn't expect her to do? Like in the comic that's made by me and EVT again, where it has the sweet life on deck reference. And I thought to myself, wouldn't that be something if she ended up doing that in front of Mugman and how would Mugman react? Actually, I, other than that, I think Mugman would say it's okay, it's natural. I, I don't know. I could just see Mugman actually being more like that than like, oh, well. Yeah, I could see him more like, oh, it's okay, it's okay. That means you're comfortable with me. <laughs> I don't know what where I'm going with this. L let's move on. Number six is Sally Stageplay. Now, as most of you guys may know, I'm actually cast to voice Sally Stageplay in a future comic dub coming soon, whenever I can't rush the person involved with it. But first, she used to be a character I always forgot about. But then, ever since, like, you know, I got cast in Sally Stage Play, and I learned a lot more about Sally Stage Play, I kind of got more attached to her. And I don't know, I kind of really love her personality. I don't know, it reminds me of Cruella de Vil a little bit, and Cruella de Vil is my all-time favorite Disney villain. Fun fact about Sally Stage Play that I'm actually amazed by is that she is, in fact, voiced by a man. Of course, he had to do with a really high-pitched voice, and they did alter it, but as you've listened to it, it's kind of hard to believe she was voiced by a man. And I don't know, I just really like her personality and her silliness and everything. I guess you could say stuck up on herself, like, I am such a great actress, and no one else can tell me so. Haha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she really is. And number five is Warner Worman. Now, this is a character that I saw his picture many of times before, and I didn't think I would like him as much as I do. I really like his boss fight. I love the music in that boss fight, and I love his animation. It's kind of humorous and cutesy at the same time, and it's like these little mice. Charge! And I, I love the um, soup can tank. It's really a clever idea. It reminds me a lot from like American Tale, or Tom and Jerry, or The Rescuers, or even Great Mouse Detective. Let's just throw that in there. You're welcome, Bob. <laughs> that, you're gonna hear us mention about that movie so many times. <laughs> I just really enjoy that battle. I enjoy the kind of his goofiness and his silliness and the way that he works with machinery like the tank and the giant cat robot. Oh man, it's an extreme
extremely fun battle. I was surprised that I got... Was that... No, it was not. Um, wait, was it? I tried to remember whether that one was the one I got my first A- minus or not. No, that was Cal Maria. I'm sorry. That was Cal Maria. Oh, I should have mentioned that. Oh, well. I think, besides Die House, his boss fight song is one of my favorites songs in the game. And number four is Hildeberg, which a lot of you guys know very well already that Hildeberg is my all-time favorite female character of the whole game. I really love her mannerisms, her personality, and her witchy-like voice. <laughs> and the part that, like, Bob actually pointed this out, and I never thought about it before, but ever since he pointed this out, I like her even more now. That at the end of her battle, even though this is the most painful part of the battle, is when she turns into a giant steampunk mood. And just thinking about the part that it's steampunk, it's like, <gasps> there's a steampunk reference in Cuphead! God bless you, Studio MDHR! But also, one thing that's a little morbid about Hildeberg, and this is gonna be mentioned in a future video, is that she is actually inspired by Hindenburg, which is a very historical blimp that was also the most deadly blimp disasters ever in history. But yeah, that, that's where her name came from. Hildeberg, Hindenburg, Hildeberg, Hindenburg. And I like other people's adaptation of Hildeberg, and so far my favorite is the one from Stardubs, because she does her voice very differently than what most of us think about it. I don't know, it's just there's something about her version, it's like, oh, I never thought that Hilda would have that type of voice. She kind of gave her that type of voice, but even though, for me, it's like a little witchy. <laughs> Mm. And I like, I really like her design, and I read somewhere that she actually is based off of Betty Boop, and actually Cal Maria is based off of Betty Boop too, and I'm I'm a big fan of Betty Boop. I've always loved Betty Boop ever since I was little, and I watched some of her cartoons to pass the time whenever. I just really, really like her, and she's a lot of fun to draw too. She really is. And number three, now let me tell you, three and two is gonna shock you. You'll see why in a moment. And no, this is not clickbait, so don't report me for clickbait. This is not clickbait. Um, number three is actually Cuphead. What? Yeah, number three is actually Cuphead. Like, Cuphead, he is on a very, very adorable character, and actually, he was one of the big helps that I fell in love with the game because of how cute he is, and how cute his personality is, and his emotions, especially in the DLC, his movements. Oh my god. And I like how much he's, he always causes trouble, carefree and fun. Bit of a rebel, I guess you could say. Like, a little rebel. Hey, I guess that's what the red is. It red means rebel. He's the rebel of the two. And I just really have fun with him creating all the stuff, like have him, him having all sorts of mischief. Like besides, of course, betting his soul to the devil, which, you know, any nut can do that. <laughs> or I don't know, maybe only a kid can do that. I personally wouldn't do that. I'm a nut. <laughs> but yeah, I, I have always had a lot of fun with him and, and especially in the comics. In the comics, especially with him and Mugman together, like I always have Mugman so innocent and Cuphead's always the rebel. Actually, that leads to number two, which actually number two is Mugman. Yes, I actually like Mugman more than Cuphead. Basically, what Mugman is, is to me, he kind of grew on me. Like, at first I liked Cuphead more than Mugman, but then Mugman really grew on me. A lot of you guys always want me to do Mugman's voice because I gave Mugman the British voice. The reason why I made Mugman British is I based him off of Daco, who is a really good friend of mine. I always say that he's like a brother to me and that I'm Cuphead and he's my Mugman. That's basically where I got that idea from, and it stuck, and people really enjoy it, but I feel bad for Daco, because now my fans are teasing him saying that Daco is Mugman. I'm really sorry. <laughs> he is really, really cute, and, and he's the innocent one of the two, and he's also the smartest, as we made him. We made him the smartest one of the two, and the one that wants the, the least trouble. At least I believe so, unless if he causes trouble in the DL see, which I personally cannot see Mugman doing. But yeah, but it was Mugman that didn't want Cuphead to bet their souls to the devil. And I'm surprised that Mugman went along with it instead of like yelling at him like they do in the fanfics and the comics that they always had yelling at him like, like, why would you do that? That is bloody stupid, Cuppy! No, he just like, you know, panicked along with Cuppy and it shows that Mugman is absolutely a really, really good brother and that he does stuff for Cuphead that most other people would not do. Like, he does a lot of things for Cuphead. Which actually kind of reminds me 
me of myself that Daco asked me to buy him cereal and send it to him, which not a lot of friends can do that. <laughs> I will admit that, like, I'm like, yep, I will do that for a friend. And number one, and I think number one, it, it's no surprise to you, my number one favorite character is, hands down, King Dice. Like, I don't know when I started liking King Dice so much. I think it's because I really like his design and his mannerisms and his personality. I think he's cute, not as in, like, ooh, sexy. Like, cute as I think the cups are cute. Like, I really do think King Dice is cute, and I think his animations are awesome, and that he is voiced by a woman, the legendary Alana Bridgewater. Still, to this day, blows me away. And at first, I was like, okay, maybe she just does the, the talking um, voice. Maybe she didn't do the singing voice. And then I found out she actually did do the singing voice, and I was like, that's it. I'm, I'm amazed, 100%. I'm amazed. <laughs> Die House is absolutely my favorite song of the whole entire freaking game. Absolutely, hands down, Die House is my favorite song of the game, and the All Bets Are Off fight is my favorite fight. I, I love the animation with him on the craps table. The way he popped up and his head comes off and comes back down, and the way he's, he shimmies himself side by side, and I love it, and oh man, I, I get so excited every time I talk about King Dice because he is so cool. King Dice! And also... So these were my top 10 Cuphead characters. You guys tell me in the comment section below who is your favorite. And also, let's have some fun. Tell me who's your favorite Cuphead character or who, and who's your least favorite Cuphead character. That that would be fun. That would be funny because, you know, I'm not going to do a top 10 least favorite Cuphead characters because, you know, again, so many characters. And But basically, personally, for me, my least favorite Cuphead character is Beppy. I'm sorry. I, I just don't like him. I, I think he's a little creepy. And that's from a girl that's not afraid of clowns. I, I don't know, it's just there's something about Beppy that is... <laughs> but even though I did draw him for that comic, and I'm really happy of how he turned out, but he's not really a character you're gonna catch me drawing a lot. So, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I don't really like Beppy. If he's your favorite character, that's great. He's not my favorite character. But, yeah, hit the like button. It is very well appreciated. And hop aboard Alpaca Bandwagon and subscribe and hit the bell for notification and to join that PP party. And that was brought to you by you guys. Thank you so much for that name. But, but this was Libby, this time with Libness. I'll see you next time, my friends. See ya!